Today's video is all about comparing the top 10 most popular poor clay masks based on their popularity in Korea and globally. I personally analyzed the ingredients of each product in detail and tested them on my own skin to carefully select the best products for different skin types. The purpose of this video is not just to introduce you to popular products or those that worked well for my skin, but to help you with various skin types and needs, find the right product for your specific situation. So if you've been wanting to try Korean skincare products but haven't had the chance, or if you still haven't found the perfect product for your skin, make sure to watch until the end. By the end of this video, you will know exactly which product is right for you. Let's get started. Here is the list of 10 poor clay mask products that I personally selected based on their popularity in Korea and globally. Please note that the order of the products is not related to their ranking. Next, let me explain the criteria I used for comparing and selecting the recommended products. The first criterion is the ingredients. The main ingredients of any poor clay mask typically included kaolin and bentonite. Both are effective in absorbing sebum and purifying the pores. Or 10 poor clay masks I will discuss include at least one of these as a basic ingredient. However, we will also look at what other main ingredients are included and what additional benefits they offer. It's also important to consider whether the product contains ingredients that might be a concern for sensitive skin. I've set a purely conservative standard here, as if non-sensitive skin can react to certain ingredients, and conversely, sensitive skin might respond differently depending on the individual and the ingredient. Additionally, while preservatives like 1 to Hexindure are generally considered as ingredients to watch out for in sensitive skin, it's challenging to avoid them in products like this. Since all of the products contain preservatives, I've excluded them from the list of sensitive skin concerns for this review. The second criterion is my personal experience testing the products. I compared and evaluated my experience with each product based on the following four aspects. The third criterion is the pore cleansing effectiveness. This is of course the primary reason we use pore clay mask. I'll be assessing how the product actually cleanses the pores and what other additives additional effects it provided. All right, now let's dive into the comparison. This product contains a total of 24 ingredients. It includes redbean extract and kaolin, along with other ingredients that help cleanse pores and exfoliate the skin. The star ingredient here is redbean extract, which is not only great for exfoliation, but also helps purify and soothe the skin. There are also some moisturizing and antioxidant ingredients included. The star ingredient here is redbean extract, which is not only great for exfoliation, but also helps purify and soothe the skin. There are also some moisturizing and antioxidant ingredients included. For those with sensitive skin, there is one color and ingredient to be aware of. The scent has a softer, present aroma that's characteristic of red beans. The texture is thick and dense and almost soared with very little liquid. It applies softly and smoothly to the skin. Despite its thick consistency, it doesn't feel heavy when applied. In fact, because it's drier mask, it adheres well to the skin without drifting. The large granules in the mask might look rough, but because the overall texture is so dense, you don't really feel the granules pressing against your skin. When they do touch the skin, they feel gentle, not abrasive. As the mask dries on your skin, it does so gently, it doesn't make the skin feel overly tight or dry, and the drying process is comfortable. When washing it off, it also rinses off smoothly. However, those large granules could potentially be a bit irritating for those with sensitive skin when rubbing them off during rinsing. After rinsing, my skin didn't feel overly dry. Instead, it felt like I had treated it with a good ingredients, leaving a pleasant sensation on the skin. The mask did a great job of clearing out impurities and sebum from my pores. I noticed some and my skin tone looked brighter overall. It provided just a light amount of cleansing without over exfoliating, which left me very satisfied with the result. Based on the ingredients and my experience testing the product, I would particularly recommend it for those with a combination or oily skin. This product contains a total of 38 ingredients. It includes mogart extract, kaolin, and bentonite, along with other ingredients that help cleanse the pores. It also contains pantenol and allantoin, which help to moisturize and soothe the skin. A notable feature of this product is its inclusion of many natural ingredients, along with anti antioxidant and anti-inflammatory components. For those with sensitive skin, there is one ingredient to be aware of. 
The scent, this might be the best way to describe it, reminds me a bit of a traditional Korean jimjilbang aroma. It has a really present mogwort scent. The texture is very light and watery. It applies very thinly on the skin. With such a watery consistency, it tends to drip rather than adhere closely to the skin. So you really need to apply it in layers, almost as if you were building it up yourself. When applying it, it feels a bit like a homemade mogwort mask, made by grinding fresh mogwort and mixing it with water. Since it goes on thin, it also dries quickly. I recommend not leaving it on for too long. As it dries, I did feel a bit of a tightness and dryness deep within the skin. It wasn't the easiest to rinse off. However, as you wash it off, you can feel tiny micro granules that provide a gentle, natural exfoliation. These granules are fine enough to be gentle, not harsh. After rinsing, my skin didn't feel dry or irritated. Instead, it felt refreshed as if I had given myself a nice mogart facial. The poor cleansing effect was somewhat underwhelming. While I didn't notice benefits in terms of skin texture and combing, it didn't do much to remove sebum and pretties from within the pores. Based on the ingredients and my experience testing the product, I would particularly recommend it for those with the combination or acne prone skin. The product contains a total of 40 ingredients. It includes volcanic ash, kaolin, and silica, among others, with help cleanse the pores. Volcanic ash is known for its powerful absorption properties and this product is primarily composed of effective chemical ingredients targeting this strong effect. It also included mentor derivatives, adding a cooling effect to the skin. There are five ingredients to watch out for if you have a sensitive skin, including alcohol and surfactants, so those with dry or sensitive skin uh, should be cautious. Wait a minute! Isn't titanium dioxide usually found in sunscreens? Why is it in poor clay mask? Titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are not just for UV protection. They also help protect the skin from external irritants and enhance the physical stability of the product, improving the texture of the mask. Therefore, these ingredients can be included in poor clay masks not only for sun protection, but also for skin protection, soothing, tone regulation, and improving the mask's texture. However, due to their larger particle size and their property of forming a barrier on the skin, these ingredients may require caution for those with sensitive skin. The scent is almost non-extens with only a slight hint of the typical clay mask smell. The texture is very thick and sticky. It applies smoothly and heavily on the face, adhering closely to the skin. It feels like the mask is filling in every pore, giving a really clean application. And as I mentioned earlier, the mentor derivatives created a strong cooling effect when applied. Because the main ingredient is volcanic ash, known for its powerful absorption, the mask creates a tightening sensation as it dries. The cooling effect is also quite intense, almost comparable to a modeling mask. Since this mask adheres so tightly to the pores, it can be quite challenging to rinse off. Although I used my hands to wash off all the mask for a pair compression, I would recommend using a pulp or brush to rinse off this type of mask. After rinsing, the cooling effect left my skin feeling noticeably cooler and refreshed. The mask truly cleansed the impurities and sebum from inside my pores, including both black ass and white ass. My skin texture felt smoother overall, and I noticed less oil on my face the next day. Given its strong reputation and effectiveness, I've personally used mask more as a spot treatment on areas like my nose or chin, where sebum production is high. Therefore, aside from those with very oily skin, I would recommend this product primarily for targeting blackheads on the nose. This product contains a total of 48 ingredients. It includes kaolin and bentonite, among other ingredients that help cleanse the pores. It also contains a significant amount of wood to extract, which plays a role in preventing dryness and adding moisture to the skin. Additionally, it is packed with skin soothing and moisturizing ingredients such as beta-glucan, pantenol, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides. There is one ingredient to be aware of for those with sensitive skin. The scent is a light, refreshing plant-based fragrance. The texture is light, soft, and watery. 
I applied very gently and smoothly on the skin, almost like applying a hydrating cream. It felt moisturizing and soothing as I applied it. I did feel a slightly cooling sensation on my skin, but it was brief. Even though I left the mask on for a bit longer than usual, my skin did feel tight or dry as it dried. My skin remained moist and comfortable. It washes up easily and has tiny granules that can be felt during rinsing. After washing off the mask, my skin didn't feel tight or dry at all. Instead, it felt hydrated and comfortable. To be honest, I didn't expect a strong pore cleansing effect since the mask didn't give me that tight, absorbing feeling. As I suspected, the pore cleansing effect was mild, but I was very satisfied with how it refined my skin texture and exploited without causing dryness or irritation. Based on the ingredients and my experience testing the product, I would particularly recommend it for those with dry or sensitive skin. This product contains a total of 38 ingredients it features mogul to extract as the main ingredient, along with the kaolin and bentonite which help cleanse the pore. Mogul to extract is not only good for gentle exfoliation but also helps with anti-inflammatory and soothing effects. Since mogurt is the main focus, this product is generally rich in ingredients that support the calming and anti-inflammatory properties. There are two ingredients to be cautious of if you have a sensitive skin. It has a strong present mogurt scent that comes through clearly. The texture is soft, smooth, and slightly thick with a watery consistency. It applies smoothly like a thick cream, and the visible large granules didn't bother me at all. My skin felt comfortable and cool as I applied it. As the mask dried, I did feel slightly tightening deep within the skin, but the formula is so hydrating that it didn't feel overly dry, and overall my skin remained comfortable during the drying process. It rinses up easily and gently without irritation. I also felt the granules provide a soft scrubbing and cleansing effect while rinsing. Thanks to the mugwort, my skin felt calm and soothed even after rinsing it off. The pore cleansing effect wasn't extremely dramatic, but the exfoliation left my skin texture smooth and refined. My skin tone appeared brighter and the soothing and refreshing effects were particularly satisfying. Based on the ingredients and my experience testing the product, I would particularly recommend it for those with acne prone and dry skin. This product contains a total of 50 ingredients. It features not only pore cleansing ingredients like kaolin and bentonite, but also subtle exfoliating ingredients such as salicylic acid and glycolic acid. Additionally, it includes amount of antioxidant ingredients like tocopenol and caffeine. Material disopropyl propionamide is included to help cool and soothe the skin. There are four ingredients to be cautious or if you have a sensitive skin. The following three are actually uh, natural fragrance, but due to their nature, they might require caution for those with sensitive skin. As you might expect from the ingredients, the mask has a citrusy lemon scent. The texture is thin but sticky, with very fine granules that can be felt. I apply it very thinly and smoothly. Since this mask is designed to be used quickly in under 3 minutes, I recommend applying it in a thin layer. I did experience some slight tingling on my skin when applying it. The mask dried quickly, especially around the mouth area, and I felt a bit of warmth on my skin during the drying process, though it wasn't too intense. It rinses up smoothly. After washing, there was a slight dryness and a bit of a tingling sensation on the skin, though it wasn't too severe. Due to its nature, this product seems ideal for a quick skincare routine when you are in a hurry. The strong exfoliation brightened my skin tone and smoothed my texture, but the pore cleansing effect was somewhat disappointing. While it cleansed the thinner areas around my cheeks fairly well, it wasn't as effective around the nose. Based on the ingredients and my experience testing the product, I would particularly recommend it for those with oily skin. This product contains a total of 32 ingredients. It includes silica and bentonite, among others which help with pore cleansing. While it does contain ingredients like glycerin and pantenol, I have to say that it lacks soothing and moisturizing ingredients compared to other products, which is a bit disappointing from an ingredient perspective. There are 7 ingredients that those with sensitive skin should be cautious of. Despite its name, it doesn't smell like eggs. Instead, it has a somewhat ambiguous scent that might be a hit or miss for some people. The texture is light and soft with a noticeable viscosity. It applies smoothly and adheres well to the skin, giving a clean, close-fitting application. The formula itself is somewhat cooling, so it's pressing when applied. 
It dries and hardens gently, but because of its strong absorption properties, I didn't feel some tightness and dryness as it dried. Since the mask adheres closely to the skin, it isn't the easiest to rinse off. Again, I don't recommend using a pop or brush to remove this mask instead of your hands. I also felt a slight tingling sensation on my skin during rinsing. The pore cleansing results were good thanks to its close adherence and strong absorption. It effectively cleansed the impurities and built up sebum from within my pores. The results were especially good in the nose and tijon areas. Based on the ingredients and my experience testing the product, I would particularly recommend it for those with oily or combination skin. This product contains a total of 39 ingredients. I featured tea tree as the main ingredient, along with the kaolin and redbean extract, which help cleanse the pores. The product also includes centella asiatica, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides, which are excellent for moisturizing and soothing the skin. Due to the main tea tree ingredient, you can also expect a refreshing cooling effect. There are four ingredients to be cautious of for those with sensitive skin. Although peppermint and tea tree are nature oils, they are included here because some people with sensitive skin may need to be cautious with these ingredients. It has a refreshing and pleasant minty scent thanks to the tea tree and peppermint. The texture feels like it has a mix of lightness and heaviness at the same time. There are large red bean granules giving a low natural texture. When applying the mask, you first feel a light layer of tea tree and mint cooling your skin, followed by a heavier layer as you build it up. The larger granules tend to move around on your face, but the mask itself adheres well to the skin. It dries quickly from the inside out with some tightness and dryness as I said. The cooling effect diminishes as the mask dries. It rinses up easily and smoothly. Despite their size, the larger granules are round and soft, making for a pleasant and gentle rinsing experience. After washing it off, the cooling sensation returns slightly, providing a calming and soothing effect. Though there is some dryness, it is not severe. The pore cleansing effect was good. It effectively exfoliated and refined my skin texture. While it may not completely clear out the pores, it did a satisfactory job of cleansing sebum and dead skin cells. Based on the ingredients and my testing experience, I would particularly recommend it for those with acne prone and combination skin. This product contains a total of 38 ingredients. It features mung bean extract as the main ingredient, along with kaolin and bentonite, which have cleanse the pores. It's the only product among the 10 that include niacinamide, and it also contains several moisturizing ingredients like olive oil. There is one ingredient that those with sensitive skin should be cautious of. It has a subtle mung bean scent, the texture is smooth with a moderate weight to it, and the granules are very soft. It applies smoothly, not too thin and not too thick with a gentle cooling sensation that helps it adhere well to the skin. It dried very comfortably on the skin without causing dryness. It wasn't the easiest to rinse off, and I did feel a bit of irritation from the granules during the washing process. However, after washing, my skin didn't feel overly dry or sensitive. The poor cleansing effect exceeded my expectations. My skin texture felt smooth and I could see that the impurities in my pores were duly cleansed. Based on the ingredients and my testing experience, I had a particular recommend for those with a combination or dry skin. This product contains a total of 35 ingredients. I purchased acorn extract as a main ingredient, along with the kaolin and bentonite, which help cleanse the pores. Icon extract is not only great for exfoliation, but also beneficial for an antioxidant and soothing the skin. The product also includes Centella asiatica and hyaluronic acid, which further contribute to soothing and moisturizing effects. Additionally, it contains peppermint and spearmint extract, which provide a cooling effect. However, because some people may have a skin that is sensitive to spearmint, there are two ingredients in this product that sensitive skin types should be cautious of, including spearmint. This scent is typical of what you might find in general skincare products. The texture is thin, smooth, and very light. It applies calmly and softly to the skin. The benefit of such a thin and soft mask is that it's easy to control the thickness, allowing you to layer more on areas like the nose where more cleansing is needed. It dries relatively quickly, and while there is a slight tightening sensation as it dries, it doesn't feel overly sensation or excessively drying. Overall, it dries in a calm and comfortable manner. It rinses up smoothly and gently with no noticeable granules, making it easy to wash up without irritation. The pore cleansing and impurity removal effects were good. While it's not an intense 
cleansing mask, the low level of irritation combined with the satisfactory results making it a mask that can be used frequently with good outcomes. Based on ingredients and my experience testing the product, I would particularly recommend it for those with sensitive skin or dry skin. So here are the final product recommendations based on different skin types. For oily skin, I recommend the Beauty of Jason and Innisfree. For acne prone skin, I recommend XSY and Bringlin. For combination skin, I recommend the Beauty of Jason and Be Plain. For dry skin, I recommend the Anua and XSY. For sensitive skin, I recommend Anua and Mixon. And finally, here is my picks. For managing black cats on the nose, I would use Innisfree. For the summer when there's more sebum and oil, I do go with Bringlin and Beauty of Jason. For the dry and sensitive winter months, I would likely use Mixon and XSY. So we would truly compare the all temple clay mask and summarize the recommended products for all skin type. What do you think? Do you have a better idea now of which product might be right for your situation or your skin type? And this video is part of a series. The first product I selected was for clay mask, but are we continuing this series with various other products that you are curious about like toners, sunscreens, and vitamin C and more? If there is a specific product you'd like me to compare and leave in the next video, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye! Annyeong!